Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Melissa. I'm so happy you're here. This is a special video. I know I say that about a lot of videos, but no, this one's truly special because I am doing a review on the Morphe 15D Day Slayer palette. And if you watched my makeup wish list video, then which you should have, um, you will see that this is one of the palettes that I was saying that I was going to buy and actually my wonderful and amazing fiance bought it for me um he watched my video he had to like rewatch it a few times to make sure he got the right palette and I just thought that was so sweet um one of the many reasons why I love him so much he wants to always surprise me with stuff that I love um this is what the palette looks like um it's very beautiful in person. De definitely the camera does not do it justice at all. So yeah, um, I'm excited to show you guys this look that I created with this palette. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, of course. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into this review. Okay guys, let's get started. I am so excited to be doing this video. Um, my amazing and wonderful fiance got me a eyeshadow palette and I am so excited to be doing a review on this palette. I figured since it's brand or well it's it didn't just come out but since it's new to me that I would review it for you guys in case you were on the fence about it. And I'm going to mention that it was in my makeup wish list video which I will link down below for you to watch as well and yeah it is the Morphe 15D Day Slayer palette I am in love as you see I haven't even opened this up yet I'm loving Morphe's new packaging it's like so beautiful like I love it so this is exactly how it came and when you finally get it out of the package it comes with bubble wrap it's like two layers of bubble wrap like they really made sure this was like good and it looks like this with Morphe's new logo and this packaging is it's a very like sturdy packaging I mean it feels really sturdy and it is very heavy too I mean not too heavy to like oh my god I can't you know it's it's sturdy though and guys look look at the beautifulness I mean and it also comes with a mirror too this mirror is just like oh, it's it's amazing it's amazing I just absolutely love this whole entire palette like it's oh, all of its beautifulness I cannot wait. Um, I'm gonna do some swatches for you guys, and I'm I'm so excited to do the swatches too. I can't wait. Okay, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Like, sorry, it's like awkward positioning, but this is so like oh my god, it is just so pretty I cannot I cannot I'm absolutely so excited to do this like to play with this palette and review it like I'm so excited the eyeshadows felt so like they felt exactly like the Jaclyn Hill palette that's the best way that I can describe it like it was it was not too creamy, but it was creamy. Like, you know, it was it, it was awesome. I, oh my god. I'm so excited to put this on my eyes. Okay, so I didn't want to waste any time. So all my face makeup is done with highlight and contour and everything. First shade that I'm going to take is natural with my blending brush. And I'm going to start that out in the crease. Thank you. 
Okay, and the next one I'm going to take is Define. I feel like this is going to be really big. And, and um, I'm going to put that in the crease as well. Okay, already with this, I am like, I'm obsessed. Like, I really am. Like, this is, oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, I need to chill out. All right, next I'm going to go in with Editor. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. Um, okay, next I'm going to take my small blending brush and let's see, I'm going to take the shade Epic and I'm going to smoke out my outer corner. take my blending brush and I'm going to blend, make sure it's blended. Alright. Okay, and now... I'm going to take my flat brush and I'm going to take the shade natural again and we're going to attempt to highlight the brow bone with that. Okay, that worked. I wasn't sure if it was going to work so I was like we're going to attempt it. Just in case it didn't work, then I was like, see, I told you. All right. Um, next, next I'm going to take this kind of brush. Um, these are actually from Wish, and I'm not really sure what they're called, so we're just going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to wet it only because this is what I do when I take shimmer shadows, and... I'm going to take Bronze Beauty and I'm going to actually do like a shape of a cut crease but you know I'm not really cutting my crease. seen I did like three di or I did two different types of brushes because this one was not sturdy enough and this one was a little bit more sturdier but um I think it's better applied with your finger to be honest because I got the most pigment when I tried it with my finger so yeah so just like with the Jaclyn Hill palette um Go in with your finger with the shimmer shadows. I guarantee they'll be a lot better. 
then you just, you know, doing it by yourself. But anyway, um, okay, I'm going to take Editor and Define, and I'm going to put that on my blending brush, and I'm going to put, I'm going to blend in um, Bronze Beauty with everything and just make sure it's all blended together. Um, we're going to move on to the lower lash line and I'm going to take editor and define again and put that on my lower lash line. take epic and put it in the outer lower lash line All right. next we're gonna do inner corner highlight and Of course, taking my small wig brush and I'm going to take the shade Spark. I'm gonna just chill out for a second because I'm getting a little too ahead of myself and I'm gonna do my lashes and I will be right back with my final thoughts okay guys we're back and this is the final look if you are wondering I used for my lips I used um, the Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade 22 it's actually an orangish red but it looks like beet red on camera at least in my view it does but um as it's drying it looks a little light but anyway um my final thoughts on this palette I absolutely love it I would recommend getting it um even if you wanted just an everyday look you could totally just skip out on all of the um, shimmers and do a natural look with the eyeshadows and I'm honestly thinking about doing that like incorporating that because um <laughs> uh this is what the palette looks like after playing with it it has not much fall actually i don't think it has any like no it has like no fallout whatsoever i didn't even clean this off at all um to even show you guys but yeah this it's a very good palette. Um, the only thing that I would recommend is when you use the shimmer shades, to use your finger instead of a brush. Not that it's a bad thing. Um, I use my finger with a lot of shimmer shades anyway, but I wanted to try it out with a brush just to see if maybe if it would, you know, perform better with a brush or not. Um, but yeah, I would recommend using your finger unless you've got um, a really good, like, Morphe brush then. Go ahead and try it, girl, but it always goes on good with your finger. But I am not mad about this palette. I absolutely love it. And, yeah, I hope you guys, if you buy it, you will love it too. So, yeah, that is the end of this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm sorry, I just had, like, a brain fart right there. Um, yeah, make sure you guys... Follow all my social media. It is at Melissa Angela YT, and it is linked down below for you to follow. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for videos, please comment them down below, um, and I will 
definitely try to do that for you. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.